Hey guys, I'm here with you today because we're launching FX IC. What that is is a new product line of screens that we have that has a removable IC cover that allows you to transfer the OEM IC. We'll be launching this for the 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max, 12, and 13 series. Uh, what we'll do today is kind of go over and showcase the screen, exactly what it looks like and how it works. As well, we'll kind of give you guys a couple of options for tooling, um, and then we'll give you guys an exact demonstration of uh, how to kind of remove and transfer this IC uh, and kind of give you like the end results about what you'll be expecting. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the tooling. Hey guys, uh, so we want to kind of get into the tooling that we have here for you. Uh, the first option that we have is the TBK laser soldering machine. So I'm kind of going to go over the uh, peripherals here that you see and it kind of explain this piece of equipment and how you'll be utilizing it for these FXIC screens. Uh, so first off, we have our microscope camera that kind of give you a zoomed in view here with a display uh, to show you exactly where you're working on uh, on the pad here. Um, so from there you also have your laser here um, and this is an adjustment so you can kind of see exactly uh, where you're going to be hitting with your uh, laser and you have your thermal camera which is displayed here on this touch screen uh, so kind of give you some thermal readings exactly what temperatures you're hitting in the area that you're working on. Um, this is also a touch screen so you can kind of engage the thermals um, and then as well adjust the temperature um, and kind of give yourself uh, calibration options here. Hey guys, so what we want to do is kind of show you uh, one of our other options for IC removal. Uh, what we have here is our little mini hot plate. Uh, just plugs in USB-C for power, a couple of buttons to uh, change the menu options here for your thermal settings and turning the, uh, the heat on and off. Um, so a little silicone cover, you got a little ceramic pad here. Uh, with power, this will heat up. Um, takes probably 15 seconds to remove the IC uh, with this option here. So uh, very uh, cheap, economical tool for you guys uh, when you're kind of starting this process. Um, then moving on, once you have the IC removed, what we have is a little jig here for a securement. Um, this will hold the IC uh, while you're removing the underfill. Um, so how it works is basically once you have the IC removed, you just lay it on the plate couple of turns of the knob and that'll get the IC really secure um, so that it doesn't move around um, so that you can go ahead and clean all that underfill. Uh, so this has some feet on it, stays stable, uh, won't move around so you can use your hot air or even your laser soldering here um, and then some uh, underfill blades so you can go ahead and clean that IC up. Uh, moving on once you get it cleaned up, ready for reball, we have a nice little jig here. What this does is it has a uh, Little plates here that are removable, uh, magnets underneath, um, and then basically this little uh, stencil is removable and you got six little places here for ICs. What he does is hold the IC. Um, this little plate is magnetic, so as soon as you put the IC in, put the stencil on, it's automatically aligned. Uh, zero effort hit for alignment. Uh, once it's aligned, spread your paste, use your hot air, and you'll have a reball in about two minutes. Um, from there, we're ready for install. Um, so that's pretty much the options that we have here for you guys for this uh, technique. Um, so let's get into the demo so you can guys see how this works. Okay guys, uh, so let's uh, kind of show you the screen here um, and exactly uh, what and how this technology is and how it works. Um, so this is our iPhone 11 uh, FX5 uh, with our FX5 IC uh, custom flex here. So as you can see, um, what we have is a IC cover. Um, and it is easily removed. Um, you'll see that it has an uh, alignment uh, bracket around the IC cover. Um, this will help us when we go to install the IC. Uh, but this cover comes off really easy. Just a little lift of it. Um, and then there you can see. Uh, what this is is already a pre-tinned array of solder points for the original IC. Um, they're already, like I said, pre-tinned a little bit, have a nice alignment bracket. Um, so once you remove that original IC, you go ahead and get it cleaned up and reballed. Um, set it right in this within this alignment bracket and within like five seconds with the laser soldering machine maybe five ten seconds with the hot air uh, whatever it takes a little uh, quick hot air and that uh, IC will be installed um, and then we'll kind of go into the demo about how to get that procedure done for you but we wanted to kind of show you exactly what this screen is and how it works um, just the custom flex here pop that IC off and you can see you're ready for an IC install Okay guys, uh, so what we have here is our OEM screen uh, from our iPhone 11. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of show you how to set up uh, the screen with the TBK laser for IC removal. Um, so what we want to kind of do first is get the screen lined up under your view here with your camera. Make sure that you're focused in, you can see what you're doing. Um, we'll go ahead and dim this light. Uh, we'll turn on our preview here with the preview button, so infrared preview. What this is going to do is give us a little circle exactly where this laser is going to hit. And then we can adjust here for uh, how big that we want the area to uh, kind of hit with the heat. So we'll line up our IC right up under this area for the preview and then we can go ahead and turn this preview off, turn our light back on, kind 
kind of see what we're working with. Um, so then we're going to adjust our thermals to about 280 for this IC removal, 285. Um, and then I got a little foot pedal here that's going to kind of engage uh, for the heat. Um, so what we're going to do is we're, I have some uh, curved tweezers here um, and I'm going to use this to uh, grab the IC. I'm going to turn on the thermals to go ahead and heat up the IC and then usually within five seconds you can go ahead and just uh, tight grip and just lift up from one side and you'll go ahead and lift this IC right up. Um, so we'll go ahead and we have our heat set, we have our viewpoint set um, and we're ready to go ahead and remove this IC. So I'll engage my heat with my foot pad here and we'll go ahead and get this temperature to raise up. We'll give it about five, 10 seconds. And then we'll go ahead and get this IC lifted right off the flex. Okay, just like that. We have our IC lifted off, turn our thermals off. So within five or 10 seconds, we go ahead and just lift this right off of these. So all I did here again, guys, just to explain was just grab this IC on both sides, wait five or 10 seconds, and just a lifting motion comes right off. Not a lot of effort at all. It's really easy with this tool. Um, professional setup, uh, but really easy for you guys to learn and kind of utilize. Um, so now that the IC is removed, we can kind of show you exactly what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and clean all this black underfill and any uh, residual flex or anything that came up. Um, it looks like we got a clean lift on it, so nothing but just some underfill to go ahead and remove so we can get it prepped for reball. Okay guys, uh, so now that we got the IC removed, we're going to use our jig here to kind of uh, secure this IC so we can clean up all this underfill. So we'll just remove, we'll just remove, we'll move the IC down here uh, in between the blades. We'll go ahead and tighten the blades up, that'll get the IC secure so it doesn't move around. Um, and then we'll go ahead and turn on our thermals. Um, so that'll kind of get the IC heated up. We'll use our blade here, a uh, very sharp blade. Uh, so you'll apply just a little bit of pressure. And once it starts getting up to temp, you'll see that this glue just comes right off. So we want to scrape all this underfill off to get down to the green board. And then that'll give us a nice, good, clean surface area to go ahead and get this reballed so we can get some fresh solder on here so we can get this reinstalled. So I usually just clean up half and I usually rotate and clean the other half. Again, not a lot of pressure. This TVK laser solder machine makes this a breeze. So we just clean all this underfill off. You can kind of see on the uh, zoomed in area here that you can see when you get the black glue removed and you get down to that green board. You can see those solder points hit that highlight and get really white when they're clean. So that's all we want to do. We just want to kind of get this cleaned up. And that's about it. We got that cleaned off. Just that quick, guys. So I hit my foot pad there to go ahead and turn that heat off. Um, and you can see that uh, we'll go ahead and get a little alcohol on our cloth. We'll go ahead and wipe that off. And we got a nice clean IC there. No underfill. So 30 seconds to get that underfill cleaned off with the TBK laser machine. Okay guys, uh, so we got that IC cleaned off, uh, all the underfill removed, so it's ready for a reball. So we're going to use our little magnetic stencil jig here. Um, so we'll place the IC uh, in its little socket here. Uh, this will hold it very secure, it won't move around. Um, then we'll go ahead and apply the stencil uh, magnets to kind of secure that. And you can see uh, right here, this auto aligns all these little solder points. So it doesn't move around, no room for any deviation, so it kind of keep you guys some uh, peace of mind here when you go ahead and doing this reball. Uh, so now what we'll do is we'll use our uh, 183 degrees uh, low melt solder paste um, and we'll get a little uh, BGA blade to go ahead and uh, scoop up some of that paste. Get it on the tip of our blade and then basically we will just uh, spread it across uh, make sure that we get all these contact points covered. Scrape off any excess there. Now that we got our solder paste applied, uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just uh, give ourselves a little extra securement and grab our hot air. And we'll have it on a low flow setting, higher temp, and we'll just hold it right up above our stencil here and go ahead and get these, get this paste to kind of re-ball over each little solder point. 
So you can see those little balls begin to form. We want to make sure that we get all of them all the way around. And then remove our heat. So now what I like to do is go ahead and just uh, remove our stencil here. And then what we'll do is we'll apply just a little bit of flux here to our IC chip. And then we'll hit it with the hot air one more time. And that'll just get all those balls nice and symmetrical. So we'll go ahead and remove this uh, IC from the socket. And I will show you these solid balls. So you can see here, they're all nice and symmetrical, and then we got solder on all of them. Okay. So we'll go ahead and use our alcohol to just clean this up a little bit. So we don't have any excess paste or anything. And now we have this uh, IC that's uh, ready for install. So we'll move into that. And we have here our uh, prep flex, uh, remove the cover, you can see our alignment bracket. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is apply just a little bit of flux and this will help the install process. So we'll just put a little bit of flux here on our surface area. And then it'll also help kind of hold this IC. Um, so the nice little alignment bracket here is really good for uh, allowing you guys to go ahead and get that IC. Up. So what's important here is that you want the QR code to be facing down. Uh, so we'll rotate uh, the IC, make sure that you have your QR code facing towards the bottom. Um, so we'll use the alignment bracket here and go ahead and just get this aligned up. You just want to make sure that you've got a little bit of that white line showing top, bottom, left and right. And I'll be a little meticulous here on the alignment. And a little pressure down. So this is uh, this install process using this TBK laser. It's kind of a no hands task. Uh, we'll turn our light off. Make sure we're lined up for our preview. Turn our preview off. Turn our light back on. We'll still set it about 285, and we'll engage the thermals, and we'll do that for about five seconds. You'll see the uh, solder begin to bubble, and you'll see that IC kind of set in place. Um, so don't touch the IC. We got it aligned. Um, and we will just use the uh, thermal and surface tension to kind of go ahead and let this IC get set into place. So once you feel comfortable with the alignment, you have your thermal set up, you'll go ahead and just turn on that heat and wait for about five seconds. You'll see it kind of set down into place. Just like so, turn that off. I want to kind of give it some time to cool. Um, and then from there, you can kind of uh, prove yourself there that uh, everything's installed, it's not moving around, so it's good and secure and installed. Um, so let's go ahead and get the screen, uh, get it plugged into our uh, device here, and give it a test. So we'll plug it in, we'll go ahead and boot it up here for you guys. Um, so you can see here that uh, we definitely have our uh, FX5 screen installed. Um, go ahead and open it up to our home screen here. Uh, kind of see that we got fully functioning screen. Let's go into our settings here. And looks like we got nice scroll function. Um, see that we're on iOS 14 8.1. And uh, we got a good looking screen here.